In this lesson, we are going to look at how to do equations that have denominators or numbers at the bottom. So what we have here is we've got an equation and we've got these numbers at the bottom. Now we would like to get rid of those. To get rid of those, you need a common denominator. So what number could you turn all three of these into? Well, some of you might be saying six. We can turn them into six. Well, you're almost correct, but not completely, because the number four could not be turned into six. Twelve is a number that could work. So the lowest common denominator is going to be twelve. Kevin, how can it be twelve? Well, I could multiply this one by four, I could multiply this one by three, and I could multiply this one by six. Aha! Uh -huh. So what you do is you multiply the top number by 4, then you're going to multiply this top number by 3, and this top number by 6. So it becomes 4x plus 3 equals 6x. You don't have to put the denominators there, even though they would have been 12. We can actually just ignore those. How come? Because we are busy with an equation. When you have denominators that are the same, and it's an equation, then you can ignore them. Now it's easy. We just say 4x plus 3 equals to 6x. Now you just get all the x's to the one side, so I'm going to take this over here. So we're going to get 6x minus 4x equals to 3. That's going to give us 2x equals 3, and so x is going to be 3 over 2. Here's another example. So our first step is to get rid of the common denominator. Now the common denominator here is also 12. So I'm going to say here, lowest common denominator is 12. So I could multiply this by 3, this one by 4, and this one by 2. So I do the same to the top. So I'm going to multiply this one by 3, this one by 4, and this one by 2. So that's going to become 9x minus 8 equals to 2x. Notice how I've left out the denominators because they're all the same. Now I can solve. So I take the 2x over, so it becomes 9x minus 2x equals to 8, 7x equals 8, therefore x would be 8 over 7. 